Can you imagine how that would feel? Not being able to be who you are and feeling so oppressed that you just simply have to express yourself by your music. You can hear it in his symphony pathétique. He, he wrote it moments before he died. And it just shows you how much pain he really was in. The difference is, you can either embody how you feel and you can be a victimised person. Or you can do what he did and express it through musical notes. And doing that, well, you can see, it stays with people for generations. His music will be around for years and has been. The film The Music Lovers is actually very good because it gives you a visual representation of what life was like back then and how he was and what kind of surroundings he would have been in, a little bit about his backstory about his mother. The great thing about Russell's depiction of Tchaikovsky was that it was very similar to how he would have looked so Richard Chamberlain playing him was was very close. Um, and it really helps you to understand the emotion when you see an actor, especially in the final minutes of the film, because Russell shows how everybody thinks Tchaikovsky died. I mean, drinking cholera infested water on purpose or not is a horrible way to go out. But to be burned in a bath, it just, it, it's, it's horrific to watch. The Matthew Bourne Swan Lake is very interesting because for many, many years, Swan Lake has been performed as it was written with female cast mainly. But having a, a, a male cast, an entire male cast, really changes the dynamic. And the way he's written it now, he's modernised it as well because there's scenes in, in a bar and things like that. But the fact that it's two male characters falling in love really strikes at the heartstrings. Because if you think back to when Tchaikovsky was alive, especially in Russia, that would not have been allowed as we know. But can you imagine what he would say if he saw it? He, he'd be over the moon that something like this could be commercial. The music, like his 1812, as we all know, but we don't realize we know it, is very, very often used. Even now you'll hear it on the radio or you'll see it on a film, Viva Vendetta, and you won't realise it's his music, but it is so profound, it's so interesting, that you just, you're just just hooked. The, the end of the 1812 is brilliant. It is so fascinating and so encapsulating. I would love to have met Tchaikovsky. I would love to have shaken his hand and said hello. Although he wouldn't understand me because he's Russian. But I would have loved to just talk to him about writing music. And how he ekes his emotions into it. With the, the violins, with the, the tuba, all those instruments. Expressing the emotion and the anger and every kind of... Of, of a way of dealing with anything. Overall, I think Tchaikovsky should be celebrated as an example of what you can achieve even when life deals you a bad hand.